willingness to let your children take the dangerous risks that are necessary to imbue them with real confidence. I'll tell you something that happened to me in Rome. Well, I went to St. Peter's, you know, and the Paeta is at St. Peter's, and I think Michelangelo carved that when he was like 23 or something, you know, some, some crazy feat of utter genius. And it's very interesting that it's in St. Peter's, right? Because, well, you know, that's a sacred place, obviously, a central sacred place. And I spent a lot of time thinking about the role of the feminine in the landscape of the sacred, you know, and, and our central sacred figure in the Christian West forever has been some variant of the crucifix, right? But the, the problem with that is that it's a male symbol, and, you know, that's, well, that begs a question, like, what's the primary female symbol of union with God in the ultimate sacrifice? And I think Michelangelo captured it in the Pieta, and I think that's why it's in St. Peter's. Because what you have there, once you understand it, it's really something. You know, you can imagine that there are two kinds of sacrifices that you could make in the world that are the most difficult sacrifice. And one would be to sacrifice yourself. And you might think, well, there's nothing worse than that. And I would say, yeah, there might be. Sacrificing a child. I think that most parents would sacrifice themselves before they would sacrifice their child. And so that implies that sacrificing your child is worse, is harder. And that's what a good mother has to do. And so what you see in the Paeta is this, it's this terrible image of Mary, who's larger than life in the representation. And she's holding the broken body of her child in her arms. And what that means is that that's what you have to do as a mother. You have to offer your child up to the world. That's part of the sacrificial gesture of eternal motherhood, right? And that takes courage. You know, and it manifests itself in these small decisions, you know, these horrifying decisions. You let your daughter walk home when she's nine. It's like, really? Really? What if something happens? It's like, yeah, that'd be a, that'd be bad. You never forgive yourself right. for that, right?